always be on me, Catania. Now I've sat back. Yeah. I've sat back. S A T B A C K I apostrophe B E. Write it down for you, bitches. This is going to be a very important show. Now, it's been brought to my attention via one of the blogs today that oh jt just texted me she said she was on stage she just got off stage because she's working <laughs> she's 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 working <laughs> onika's vault said oh she's being direct tonight yes god <laughs> Well, here, the, here, here goes. For the last two to three years of my life, I've watched and sat back, S-A-T-B-A-C-K, while people have not only dragged my name through the mud, but have tried to erase me and to downplay my efforts and my achievements. I've watched and sat back while people knowingly lied on me, spread lies on me, and gained, gained from it. Never once yet have I gone to the media crying and showing the receipts that I have for what people have done to me. There have been people that I've worked with because someone else asked me to work for, with them. And I still have the text messages where I said to the person bringing, you know, bringing the request, the feature request, I, I, I say things like, um, I don't think she really likes me. And then the person goes, oh, yes, yeah, she does. She loves you. Oh, my God. You know, the whole, the whole spiel. I can always tell. I can always tell. As a mother now, I, I can see things that, you know, Papa Bear think he's slick and he's a very crafty boy. And we be looking at him doing his little slick stuff, child, and acting like we don't see it. Or he'll go and run in mama a uh, shower knowing he's not supposed to go in there. And when we run down here in the bathroom, we see his little face peeking out, but then when he know we standing there, he turn his little chipmunk body and act like he's talking to his imaginary friend. And we know what Papa Bear doing, but we just entertain him. Because in life and in your business life, there's a time to speak and there's a time not to speak. And the problem is, I fear, that so many young women have been facing is that they can't master the art of knowing when to apply those two very simple options I just gave you. At Ride with Mirage, I know the rap girl's pussy is soaked right now. They getting the attention they wanted. No, sweetheart. I can guarantee you that this is not what they wanted. So, 
So the thing is, Pride comes before a fall. It costs you nothing to be, to remain humble. When I came in this industry, I had my, you know, top people that had influenced me in my flow. And to this day, I've never done a song with Lauren Hill. But no matter who Lauren Hill does a song with, it will never affect the respect that I give not only to her, but to her legacy. I never got to do a song with Foxy Brown until Queen. And there were times that I did request to, but for whatever, for whatever reason, it didn't happen. But what you never saw me do. I said, wow. <laughs> nah, deadass. I said, wow, because today was my first day tuning into Queen Radio. Um, I needed some entertainment as I write this paper. And she said it was a tea party. You guys know I love me a good tea party. Girl, I ended up taking notes because I did not expect her to spill like that. Because one thing about um, Nicki Minaj, she she loves to subtweet, but she's right. She know how to make it land because we know who she's talking about every single time. You know exactly who it is. So do you always have to use the ad button if people are going to know? You know what I'm saying? They want to catch on. I'm going to make this very quick. Because I'm still trying to upload my paper, just to be honest with you. But the tea is piping hot. And you guys know I like to serve it hot, you know, while it's nice and fresh. So she started off with blind items. But, honey, the whole thing was blind. So <laughs> I don't know why she even said, oh, the first two will be blind. No, the whole shit was blind. But don't worry. I'll help you out. Blind item number one. She was talking about how someone was talking bad about her right after she did a feature for them. And she, the person did not know that she was talking in, with an earshot of someone who messes with Nicki Minaj very closely. And Nicki has done uh, several collabs, but she has smoke for the girls tonight. So instantly, I know she was talking about Coyle Ray because right after um, Blick Blick dropped... We go up dropped and Blick Blick kind of just faded to the back. No one was really talking about that. I don't even know if Blick Blick, uh, Blick, Blick charted, but I could see Coyle Ray being the one to, um, that she was talking about because Coyle Ray tweeted something today and we're going to get back. We're, we're going to circle back to that. Then she said the second blind item was someone who did voodoo on her. She's been rapping about that for a while. I think that was on the Queen album. So it's giving me Cardi B vibes because who else was around years ago that's still around now? That that would be considered like a new girl on the scene. When she was going through her Queen era, she was only really beefing with Cardi. I don't know if there was anyone else that she was beefing with at the time. So is she trying to say that Cardi went to a, a witch doctor, a voodoo doctor? I do know that on the last episode of Love and Hip Hop Miami, uh, that chick, uh, she calls herself the Queen of Compa. She went to a voodoo doctor and then she was praying in the next scene with her man, Marlon. How you how you do voodoo and you pray to God? That was very confusing to me. But listen, a lot of people do that. They do that stuff. They into that. They see nothing wrong with it. And that's just what, that's how they get down. So, word must have got back to Nikki. But I think the voodoo line, that has to be about Cardi B. Then she goes, you bitches got mommy issues. You will never pop. Never been on Billboard. Never. No one's going to sign. <laughs> like She's talking about Asian Doll. Asian Doll is the only one who has mommy issues, who's come out and said she has mommy issues at least. Um, Asian Doll is the one who had somewhat of a mainstream success 
But after 1017, she hasn't really been it. She's not the it girl. We only hear about Asian when she's in drama. So I think she's talking about Asian Doll because Asian Doll is the one who's going at it actively with Katie Got Bands. Well, not in Asian Doll mind. She's going to say she's not going at it actively. But she, she subtweets uh, Katie a lot. So then she goes deal with someone shaded her on social media i don't know she had a deal with someone and they were supposed to do something for her and they sounded really wishy-washy throughout the whole deal making process nikki did what she was supposed to do she handed in her deliverables whatever those may have been and then they just disappeared and shaded her on social media that one i could say was the most vague item that she said today i have no idea who that is don't really care that much then she goes Imagine, you know, you don't want to drink because, you know, you express to somebody that you're trying to have a baby or that you may be with child. And the person goes, oh, girl, you can go to the clinic. And then you start posting your prego pics. You have your baby. That person never said congratulations to you. But Beyonce sent you flowers and you post your flowers. So now that person sent you flowers. And the flowers never made it to your house. Well, we all know who was going around trying to make everybody drink two years ago. Um, that was an obvious um, Meg story. And Megan, we, Beyonce, Hope didn't sign the card when Beyonce sent the flowers to Nicki Minaj uh, when she had the baby, I don't think. Um, but Nicki did post a card and flowers when she had her baby. And I'm guessing right after... Megan saw Beyonce did it. She said, okay, I'm going to do it too. And Nikki was like, "Mm -mm, you're opportunistic. I'm not fucking with you like that. All right. And then she, um, so that was a Meg um, shot right there. Then she goes, which is came in the game boasting about using ghostwriters. I think that was um, definitely Cardi. Cardi was like, she's, she does what makes money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, She don't, she don't have to write. She's going to rap. She's going to make songs that make money. So, another a Cardi dig. Then she was calling somebody olive oil. Who the fuck is olive oil? Now, that, honey, I could not figure out. But she was saying that olive oil be making subtle shots and got unfollowed. Well, being as though she still follows Doja Cat, I don't know who that could be. She says all the girls use the same sympathy lines and her fans are getting tricked or the public doesn't see right through it. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know, Nikki, you have some of the same tactics, too, but we're going to keep them moving. Then she says she has a lawsuit that names three people. I can imagine at least Jason Lee will be one of them. Maybe Tyrone Blackburn. And uh, someone said Ken Barbie, but I just don't see it. Um, I just I just don't see the point in suing bloggers. Like Ken Barbie and shit like that. Like Tasha K said some vile shit. She deserved to get sued for every penny that the judgment was cleared for. But you don't really see people talking about Nicki Minaj like that to the point that it impacts their career type shit. Like Nicki still, if you were Barbie or Barb, there's no change in that. <laughs> Pretty much. So I, I I just don't know. She could file however many cases she wants. I don't know how well she will win. Then she goes and makes another shot for Garcelle Bouvard from The Real. Fancy. She's busting shots at Fancy. Like, girl. Didn't I just say in my last video, Nikki want that smoke? She really want to smoke. Like, I know that feeling where you just feel like fighting somebody. This is that energy. She's giving, I just want to fight energy. She's in her 40s. I think, um... And her birthday's about to come up, too. I've been told, when you reach a certain threshold, like, a certain age, like, your libido goes up, your level of... Like, she's she's definitely acting her age right now. She she really doesn't have a care in the world. She's very accomplished, very successful. And, um, yeah, she, she has a lot of time on her hands. I didn't hear the baby cry, not one time tonight. Uh, anyway, so yeah, she's beefing with Garcelle Fancy from The Real. Uh, talking about, I see how that white man left you. Uh, she brought up The Real getting canceled and her son getting harassed from those bots from either Diana, Rena, or all of them. 
she brought out Wendy Williams, uh, saying that Wendy Williams went through enough. <laughs> and she doesn't wish no more bad on that lady. Just disgusting the way that Wendy used to rip her. My whole thing is, you're doing the same thing that you're accusing everybody else of doing. You're voicing your opinion of dislike or whatever, whatever, whatever. It was Wendy Williams' job to talk about current events and everything like that. So I just don't understand Nicki Minaj. Her whole thing is, these people didn't congratulate me when I should have been congratulated. She literally got on a uh, interview and cried saying that Cardi B doesn't like her. I've seen that interview with my own eyes. But then she says she doesn't need anyone to like her. So why are you so mad when these other girls don't acknowledge you? That's the thing that I don't get. Then she tried to flip it like, oh, it's not about me. It's about the happy moment. Y'all didn't even let these girls get a happy moment to be on my song. Y'all don't know what what they've been through so my whole thing is is it about the girls or is it about you nikki because at the same time that you're calling everybody obsessed you said that your barbs didn't have to send you screenshots of the subs because you've seen it all you know what's going on she double speaks a lot either you're watching what's going on with the other girls or you're not you say you see everything that's going on. You don't need your barbs to send it to you. So you are watching it for yourself. So why are you mad that you're being talked about? Because whether it's good or bad, you're still being talked about. That was just confusing to me. Garcelle is doing her job as the real. Like, if you have that smoke for Garcelle, why you don't have that smoke for Adrian, Bailon, Lonnie Love? Um, what's the other girl? I think there was only three... For this, I don't know. I'm not going back in time, but for the Jennifer Huff interview, I think there was maybe only two or three hosts on there. You only got smoke for Garcelle. It just doesn't seem right. I don't know. I don't get it. Then she says, anyone that tries to hurt my family, y'all be in so much pain. This is not going to be their year if they speak on her family, blah, blah, blah. Now, my whole thing is, are she referring to also the whole Cardi uh tweet to Sleaze Mirage when she said I'd rather my nigga slaying dick than taking pee da 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 I don't know if she has up her sleeve for Cardi but she was she kept saying stuff like that then again back to the mommy issues Nikki coming for Asian calling her all kinds of bitches all kinds of flops never made it to billboard I mean oof my feelings was hurt I think I think my feelings was hurt. And then she goes, what you did to the girls, Katie Got Bands, I will never forget. She'll never forget what you did to Katie Got Bands. Then the story she said was a little emotional because I was, um, she said something about Katie Got Bands went to someone's grave site and was like, did I make you proud type shit? And everyone has their story. You know, everyone definitely done been through some things and I that's why I feel like it's unreasonable when we um just beef with each other unnecessarily especially when we haven't really done anything to each other to cause for that type of disdain and that kind of smoke but Katie got bands basically was like oh did I make you proud at the gravesite or whatever and I guess she shared that with Nicki Minaj I don't know if she shared that publicly or not but it made me feel like you know even the smallest of accomplishments or even the largest of accomplishments, we don't know how that affects someone. And I can see why Nicki Minaj is writing for the girls that was writing for her. You know, they congratulated her. She put them on a the track. She sees them getting dissed. And now she's just doing some dissing for them. I can understand that. Um, but at the same time, she's going hard. She's going hard. Then she says, shut the fuck up, bitch. I, my page is not about to be monetized. The way I be cursing on my videos, I know I'm not going to be monetized. When I get to that certain point, then I probably can't curse like that no more. But she definitely was like, S-T-F-U-B-I. Um, she's, you know, Lakia La made a tweet talking about some, you know, I could have cleared things up yesterday. Um, I know the timing was off, but I meant what I said. Da 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 da. I show love genuinely. Da 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 da. Nikki did not like that. She was calling her S uh calling her B I, telling her to S T F U, calling her a dud, and that she has T on her. And does Lakia want that T to come out? I said, ooh, and not ooh. You're forty years old talking like that to a nineteen year old. If I was Lakia's mother, I would have I would have to have smoke for Nicki Minaj. 
I would have to have smoked for Nicki Minaj. Just a quick little story. It was a few years ago. I was on Twitter and I was tweeting my homegirl and I think I added Safari just talking about like um, dirt bikes and four wheelers. Um, it was Memorial Day or La- I think it was definitely Labor Day and I was supposed to be in the city. I wasn't in the city, but my um, homegirl, she was outside and, you know, everybody was outside on the bikes and everything like that with the four wheelers. So all I said to my homegirl on Instagram was, Oh, um, next year I'll I'll be outside or whatever with y'all. And I added them. Why did Nicki Minaj post on Instagram, Hello, you reached my man's mentions. How can I help you? This is when she was still dating Safari. So I, I kind of had a feeling like it was for me because at that time, ain't nobody knew she was dating Safari. So I was just like for her to... And, and I don't think anybody was really checking for Safari like that. So when I had added my friend talking about oh we'll be outside that's when he was doing the bikes dirt wheel and he wasn't the only one doing them like honestly we knew a lot of people that was outside with the bikes and who still are be outside with the bikes and the um, four wheelers so me adding him was just like extra it wasn't even like it was personal for him but I could see why she would think that maybe it was like on some another level type thing so just to kind of play with it I wrote under her um that specific picture that said hello you reached my man's mentions how can i help you i said so what i love and then i added safari just to play with her i had seen the post an hour after she posted it five seconds after i commented on her post Nicki minaj talking about hoes be like and then all of her fans start tweeting me as, as if i was one of safari's hoes like first of all it was just a joke chill out um, but I can definitely see that she's always on social media. She's always tuned in to what's going on. Um, no matter how big or how small your name is, Nicki Minaj is watching. So I just felt like it was crazy that she's coming at 19-year-old, 20-year-old Lakia, calling her bitch this, bitch that, all because she tweeted something about people being dick riders, a thin line of supporting and dick eating or whatever. But guess what? I don't care. I don't care. That's my child. You talking to my child like that? You disrespecting my child, calling my child all out of her names and all of that. 19-year-old to me is still childlike. I don't care if you're a rapper. That's still my child. I would have to see Nicki Minaj. I, as Lakia's mother, I would have to see Nicki Minaj. As as Asian Doll's mother. <laughs> talking about I got mommy issues. Oh, she'd have to see me too. What up? You know? Nikki want that smoke though, so mm, just you know, be prepared. So boom, she goes talking about age. Next time y'all want to talk about age, look at your face. Your face is melting. Talking about people's weight and age, and their face is melting. And um, girl, then she goes, oh my god, I just wrote so much because. She's made a mention about arguing with your fans, people that be arguing with her fans. And we all know the only person that sits all day and argue with Barb's be Cardi B. Then she's talking about um, someone was subtweeting two minutes right after the first Super Freaky Girl remix dropped. Like, she was just doing a whole lot of subbing. This whole entire hour and change, she was doing subbing. Then she says you can't um, trust people who will snake the closest people to them. That was a Megan shot. That was a direct Megan shot. She's talking about Kelsey. I feel like she's talking about 1501. Maybe she's describing Megan as a snake because of the whole Rock Nation 1501. Maybe sleeping with Tori behind Kelsey's back situation. I don't know. But who else snakes the people closest to them that we would know that she's going to get on a public platform and talk about? Then she goes, fans posted all the subs. I see it. You ain't got to text it. I already talked about that. So you see all the subs. How do you see the subs from your apps? You friends with Cardi B or you have a you have a lurking page? What's T? What's T? Again, another shopper Asian. Someone who changed their name 511, 950,000 times. Asian the brat. Asian the doll, Asian the savage, Asian the Asian, Asian the Cuban. I mean, gosh dang. I knew exactly who she was talking about because she said that person keep changing their name. 
never making it to billboard then she said someone else kept sending her song after song after song and she's just not in that mood and they do slick stuff as if she's not peeping it we all know that's doja doja is the only one with no pride to keep sending Nicki minaj song after song after song i just saw a clip of doja cat at her own concert talking about some this is for Nicki. i love <laughs> i love doja cat's energy she's just like unapologetically her that's cool then Nicki Minaj says she's going to be suing people for defamation. Someone who went on a radio station and lied on her. Well, who went on the radio station and talked about Nicki Minaj? I don't remember Cardi doing any interviews about her. I just don't. So I'm trying to see who went on the radio and lied on her. Is it Jason Lee? I don't know if Jason Lee ever talked about her publicly either. I, I don't keep up with that stuff, but <laughs> clearly I do, but not a lot. Um, but mm, I just couldn't figure that out. But somebody got a defamation case coming up. And then she goes, not a like, not a like, not a repost. Oh, not a like, not a repost. And these are your legends. She's talking about Kim, Meg, and the whole Plan B a remix fiasco. Didn't I say that? I said, you giving her mad ammunition Make y'all look mad stupid doing this the way that you didn't even acknowledge Kim. I mean, Nicki Minaj is not just on her Queen Radio talking about this. She's in her studio with her pen and her pad so she could write about this and put it in the song so that y'all could always hear about this for the rest of your lives and your children's lives. I mean, that was not a good look, Meg. I don't like how you did that shit. Um, mumbling, cackling, sympathy tweet. She could be talking about Misty Elliott, Queen Latifah. This girl talking about everybody. She and then she says, "Next time you gonna call me ugly, da da da, my botch body, da 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 da." Ask yourself, would your man hit? Oop! I know that was an offset dig. Then she goes, "Bitches telling my fans go stream." Talking about Cardi again. Listen, Asian Cardi, Lakia, and Megan. And Garcelle Beauvoir, if y'all don't get on a song and do your big one, just hang it up. Because this is the energy I like. I don't have to like Nicki Minaj as a person. Well, first of all, I don't know her as a person. I don't know her. So I can't say I like her or don't like her as a person. I just know we had that one interaction on Instagram. It rubbed me the wrong way. I don't really care for the bubblegum pop. But there's some verses I love with um, like the Big Bank, t- Big Bank Take Slow Bank. That song with YG. Best verse. Um, that song that she has with DJ Khaled. Uh, <sighs> Nicki Minaj, she does her big one a lot she does a big one a lot um but i only like select songs from her so when it comes to giving commentary on the female rap industry i can be so neutral i have no dog in this fight i make no money from them they don't give me no money you understand um it just it is what it is for me I'm a fan of music. I love good music. I just discovered Nip Tuck and I, you go back a few videos. I think in the video called No Love 777 Remix Review, something like that. I talked about Nip Tuck from Nicki Minaj because I just discovered it. And I love that song. And it's probably going to be in my top played songs of 2022 because I love that song. I'm a fan of the music. I, I don't have to like people to like music. It's just music. So, I mean, as a person, I think... I think I like Cardi. Is energy better? Her, she's She come off less, less stuffy to me. You know what I mean? I always enjoyed Cardi as a person, even though I don't know her. And I, I love... Um, I love some of her music, too. I I feel the same way about both of their music, honestly, because they both have a lot of pop songs that I don't like. Like, I just don't get into pop like that. But, um, let's take a deep breath real quick. Let's take a deep breath for all the ats and indirects and subliminals that were shot tonight. 
So much so I had to create a Wikipedia to just translate the bullshit for y'all. I'm tired. I didn't even expect to be on here this long. But, um, yeah. Just expect a lot more shit to go down. Like, it's going down. Kim, Lil' Kim and Cardi B's in the studio now. Trying to do their big one. Female rap is heating up. It's heating up. And if you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. But just know I'm going to be here serving, serving, sipping my tea and serving. Thanks for watching. You know, if, if you know, you know. Thanks for listening. It's if you know, you know.